I was looking at some students doing a technical planting plan and one of the things they had to do was to place all of this information underneath here and I've got a really effective way of doing it. I think it's really quick and it's also stops you getting any errors in other words it's really robust I call it effective it's really quick join me let's have a look see how we do this I was looking at a technical planting plan the other day and one of the things that has to be done is these photos need to have the plant ID underneath each one of them so that you can see the actual or the sort of in its natural environment what these plants look like now this is a viewport and the information is actually on my design layer so let's go and have a look at the there and there's my plant images there and it's a bunch of images I've collected but what I've also done out of the way so you can't see them in my viewport is I've actually placed each plant up here so I know what image that relates to because I just thought this might be an easy way to do it now each plant has a plant database or a plant record attached to it read-only uh, record format I've actually assigned it to these images here but I haven't assigned it to these other ones so let's see if I can use my data tag to place a tag against each one of these now I've created my own plant ID tag and so when I click at the bottom corner of that it's got a highlight in red and you'll notice that just underneath each plant or just underneath each image I get the name of that plant and when I go here you notice this, this image doesn't turn red like these do and the reason for that is these don't have that record format attached how do we get it attached well it's actually really easy if you use the eyedropper tool click there and then I'm going to use the option key on a Macintosh click there click 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 and I'm just gonna suck up the attributes or suck up the data from each of my actual plants and stick it onto my images because then I thought it would be really quick to go through and tag those plants so if I go here so you can see it highlights in red now and the other thing that I've done is I've also made the plant tag so that the origin of the plant tag is at the bottom center of the photo and there's just enough offset for the plant information to arrive which I think is really actually pretty cool now if you don't like my way of doing it cool I completely understand but one of the things I thought would be really cool is if we edit the tag layout here's our plant ID let's edit this and I'm going to uh, redefine the tag and I'm, I've actually copied this so I'm going to go paste because it's going to stick it there and this is going to be Latin name now when I do this it's going to replace the tag on all of those images and you can see they've all picked up the ID and the Latin name for each of those plant images and I just thought this was a much more effective way of creating your information in Vectorworks so what is it done when we go back to our technical plan and there you can see there's all my text and it's all up to date if you really like this movie please give me a thumbs up it really helps other people to find my movies and I'm not kidding about that it really does help also if you are not a subscriber please hit the subscribe button click on the bell so you get notified now if you really enjoyed this movie please think about giving me a super thanks to reward me for making the movie but also to give me money to keep doing these things thanks a lot see you later